What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast. My name is Chris, and with me, as always, is my buddy Mike. What's going on, Chris? Nothing much, man. We're here talking Fear the Walking Dead. We're back. Season 3 premiere, episodes 1 and 2. I didn't realize it was a two-hour premiere, and when I finished the first episode, I was like, crap, I've got another episode. Um, <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah, guys, um, he, listen, uh, there's a little disclaimer. We're not going to be g- nice about this. Uh, we're not gonna we're not gonna sugarcoat what what we're feeling about this show right now. Um, let's let's get right into the the rant. You want to get into the rant? Well, let's I, get right. Let's give it to him. All right, man. Do you want to give do, it to him? Do you want to start? I will. I will tell you. Ex- well, you had a, a nice list of notes, so you go first, Chris. I'll oh be. Oh my god! You want me to? Time. Jesus, man! Do you want me to just read my notes? Just you want to just, just re- uh, well maybe summarize. You want me to just podcast. read my raw notes? Yes. All right. Show the fans what you wrote. All right, look, we're not going to recap. Tell but, the fans. Yeah. You know, obviously, we see what happened when they got stopped at the border. They picked up by this military group, and that's where they are. Yes. Here's my issues, man. The yes. dialogue is dumb. Can the dialogue <laughs> remains to be dumb? The yes. situations are mind-numbingly just catastrophic. Just you, the, the reactions okay. in these situations are just horrific. Mm-hmm. Um, acting. You know the acting is is not bad. I'm not going to say it's bad acting uh, for certain for certain characters. Yes, some of the other acting is atrocious, and others are just you know. But the yes. other characters that they get in, I, I, I'm getting tired of the seemingly overpowered military presence that's doing creepy shit. Getting tired of that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. It's just, it, dude. The problem overall is that this show, the the situations are just so lackluster. There's nothing. I'm so, and I'm really sorry if you like the show and, and you expected a, something great, like a yeah. cool review. But we can't. I just. Yeah. Are you would rather give you it straight. We would rather you know, give you the straight gonna, truth. Listen. I mean. Well, I'm gonna give you. Let's do it this way. Let me. Yes. I have a couple more things to fucking rant about. Then you get yes. to your. Then you get. We'll get to your rant. Then we'll okay. say the good things that we liked about the episode. Yeah, sure. A couple. We can. We can. We can do that. There are a couple. We can do that. So, you know, again, just some of the things. You want specifics? Mm-hmm. How the hell did in episode two? How the hell did um uh, uh um they, they kill a character? They kill the main character for no reason. What the hell was the reason to kill him? Uh, drama effect to give people. Um, listen, Travis was one of the strongest actors on the show, and one of the most know? annoying, by the way. Yeah, I so probably would I have liked to have seen. Um, maybe Travis living and maybe Madison dying because now that all you have no, left, no, they can't is have Madison die. You know why? Because Madison well, is Rick Grimes, and you can't. And they decided that. And, and I, look, I I'm nothing against being a female Rick Grimes. That's fine. Yeah, but she's fucking annoying. Okay, and yes. look, okay, it's just, it's they just so they kill a character with a main mm-hmm. character for no reason. The way yes. he died, I Mike had to explain it to me, and I still don't get it. Like yeah. it, they did not. They did not show that properly. If 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 that's the exact way that he was supposed to have died, right? Yeah. So they they did that. The situation, you know, the situation when they're outside and she's got the guy by the with the spoon in the eye. Like that's mm. like, why didn't they just shoot her in the back of the head? Yeah, was, yeah it's like it's like these. I, things- I know she was surrounded, and my thing when it came to the eye part of it, and you know, not for nothing. How is she? He could have elbowed her or something. He could have overpowered well, her. I mean, you know? dude, you got a fucking spoon. I Ryan. know that might have been that might have been, been okay. I was um, okay with that. I I don't know. I, number one, I didn't believe him as being a leader. I think you said. Why it, are you making kid was, a kid the leader of this? This group? kid is like some little douche, little and, what twenty something year old guy. That and what about the whole reason behind it? They're doing research. I th- actually thought um, they're not. They were betting on that shit. I thought it was a little interesting. I mean, not to go too crazy because I know you wanted to talk about the good things, but one. No, we're in rant mode still. Well, we're still in rant mode. Then I'll save my my good thing. Oh, there's a good thing. Save it. So, (laughs) what the hell was up with with Strand? All of a sudden, they're listening to Strand, and he's a fucking doctor now because he stitched himself back together. He's delivering babies. They let him drive out of there in a sports car, like. Why did why did Hector be like, oh, there's one more thing you have to do, and and mm-hmm. go talk to this woman who, by the way, if you guys didn't realize, she was going to kill herself when the door opened. Uh, that was I that was know, a fucking no brainer. Like, dude, 
I'm 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 actually upset. I'm actually I'm really yeah. upset because you know what, Mikey? We kind of enjoyed season the end of season two. Like that when we started this channel, <sighs> we started with fear. And it yes. was it was actually yes. pretty decent. Like we were I was getting into it. I enjoyed mm -hmm. the characters. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed the what where what they were doing. Some yeah. of it was wonky, some of it was annoying, but I, I was psyched for this season. Yeah. Now nah man, I'm disappointed. Nah. I'm really disappointed. Hey. What what do you got, man? All right, my my biggest um, the, my biggest negative about this show is number one when the when when I first heard there was going to be a spinoff, I, I was not happy about that. Um, I didn't think that Walking Dead needed to have a little um, right. I not, not a saying, reboot, yeah. but I didn't think it needed a sister show. Um, it was a big cash hog thing. It was cashing in, striking while the iron was hot. Obviously, Walking Dead is one of the large, biggest shows in television. Um, so I wasn't happy right from the get-go. The cool thing from watching the first series, from watching The Walking Dead, was we didn't get um, from a, we got only from Atlanta. All right. The cool thing about Fear uh from from ver from the beginning was we did get it from a different perspective we getting different characters and from the beginning yes from the beginning different um jobs from a different state okay we're getting it from where it supposedly began with the first few people and and um and Nick's girlfriend that first turned and all these kind of things it was interesting that first season it wasn't as bad as i expected okay now moving on to the to the second season the first get a build the second up. season was shit. Uh, yeah. Exactly. The second season, now we started getting more of who's who, the people, how they're dealing with the new apocalypse. Madison stepping up, you know, um, Travis's son, Chris, going crazy and not being able to handle this. You know, so, okay, it's okay. It gets a pass. After watching last night, there were some good things, and we'll talk about them. <laughs> but hear me out. What else can we do? I don't want another show um, that's going to be just a mimic of The Walking Dead. The show is going to be a mimic. I don't see how they can necessarily change this. Um, all it is is we're getting a new cast of characters to whom aren't great the greatest actors and aren't too intriguing to me to and really the yeah, the story's enjoy not great. them. Yeah, why, okay? why didn't... You know, what about... you? We talked about it. Make it... Make it an anthology then. Well, yeah, that's what I was getting to. So, it, all right, before that, in The Walking Dead, we've had a little bit of, of comfort when they were on Herschel's farm for the whole season of two. And then we start getting into the governor. And then we they really gave us the idea of that there are a lot more people out there and that no one and no place, you're never safe. It's only a matter of time before... Something happens, your family dies, someone tries to take over, this kind of thing. Now, that's all that's going to be with this show as well. Where, what, are, what are they going to do? We, they, they find this border patrol. People are dicks. You're never going to be able to find this place. Now there's a ranch, okay? So all it is is mimicking the, the, the real show, the real show, which is The Walking Dead. I will never see these uh, this series, Fear, um, being in... Uh, maybe somewhere safe for multiple seasons because then how 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 dramatic will that be you know what i mean what they learned how, how to grow crops and everything and in the end that's just a uh a, 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 a bite biting off of the, the first dead, the yeah. first show so to me i don't know where they're gonna go um i'd like to hear what you what you guys uh that are watching have to say and what you feel because we're kind of debating on even doing the show anymore so we'd like to really hear what you guys have to say but um, to get to what Chris was saying, we were discussing this off camera. It would have been very, very interesting because I think that everybody, the question is, where did it come from? We don't know how it came from. We don't know if it's a, um, uh, you know, a disease control thing, an outbreak of some sort that got out of a lab. Or, we still have no clue even from the, from the walking dead. So that's that with that saying, would it have been interesting for every season to 
give us a different cast of characters, a different location, possibly a different country. Um, maybe give us Most an idea. A different country, absolutely. You know, and, you know wouldn't it be cool? Because we always talk about let's how would they react in the snow or something? Wouldn't it be cool to see like an Alaskan Walking Dead yeah. or a New Zealand Walking Dead or an England Walking Dead, or a European Spain, or, or Japanese or something? You know what I mean? Africa, like uh, what about what about exactly Egypt? Like yeah. Yep. So, but you see, here's the thing. So check this out. It's called Fear yeah. the Walking Dead. It's an anthology. And yeah. it can still, it doesn't have to be isolated things, Mikey. They could yeah. actually, every season, work towards, find, it, every season we find out a little more about where it came yeah. from. And then there's people, yeah. because. I think it's tough. Right? Because... Like, think about it. Like, think, every season could be like, oh, see, in, in season Another three. Of, in something. season three, we found out in season two that, oh, shit. This was person. This might be someone that was key yeah. in in the creation of this thing. And then in season yeah. three, we're in a different country. Yep. They do it. They do. They do it with um the show called Zoo. I don't know if you know about yeah. this show called Zoo. No. It's on network television. I can't remember. Maybe ABC. I think. But mm. um, it's actually a pretty cool show. Two seasons are on Netflix, and it's basically about and it's basically an outbreak of rabies that turns animals, every animal, rabid. And it, they, but, but they're, yeah. but not crazy rabid, but like they're, they attack humans and they're smart and like it's, it's a mutated form. Of, and like there, there's this group of people that are tra traversing the world, tracing the back the origins of where it came from. Like, why can't yeah. you do something like that? Hey, I, I'm not, I'm not going to beat the, you know, just keep killing this. But if we are to find, you know, the reasons for this, this outbreak, um, for whatever happened, wherever this all started from, um, it better be The Walking Dead. Better be on The Walking Dead, yeah. You know, I, I mean, I'd hate for it to be given um, or leaked to us um, in, in, in seasons and here and then, giving us little clues on any other vessel but The Walking Dead. So yeah. I really, I, you know, I know that um, it's a big, it's a big um, uh, sales uh, it's a bit very popular show just because there are fans of The Walking Dead. But listen, dude, there's no there's no two fans that are more excited and and are into The Walking Dead than me and you. Right. Uh, we're doing a fucking YouTube show about it to begin right. with. So um, for us feeling this way about fear, I I'm sure there are a lot more of us that are feeling the same way. Yeah, I think um, if, if I could just throw out, we're gonna get to what we did like about the show, but just a theory yeah. as to why the show doesn't isn't as good as the other one is because um the original show has a guide it's got the comic and and mm -hmm. not only having that i know yeah. they don't i know that people are writing it and they're not you know but but you do they have the comic as a roadmap number one there's your roadmap number two uh the writing of the comic is amazing and also the format makes it very serialized and it's so it's easy to extrapolate but you have your bare bones this mm -hmm. show has nothing. This show it's is off coming the off the top of in, yeah. of the people's heads, and I don't know how yeah. involved Kirkman is in this, but I feel like he's not very because this isn't his writing. The character yeah. situations, the dialogue, none of it. This, you know, this show's I, always suffered from poor poor situations and poor dialogue. I can't disagree. I mean, I think there are you know for for a positive. Let's get into a little bit of the positives. Um, excuse me. I think the po some of the positives for fear um, are. The, just the just the fact that some of the some of the things not necessarily mistakes but some of the things that um, Kirkman may have wanted to add he could kind of give hints to to you know to the writers of this show some cool little ideas some things and some questions that we've that we you know we had about even the first series or maybe you know some mistakes or some ideas that he felt he would have loved to have put into The Walking Dead, right. he might be able to sprinkle on this, which is cool because we do get some cool things. There are some cool gags. There are some cool blood gags, like with the spoon. I thought that was – I thought it was cool. Um, one of the better um, – one of the better scenes of the episode. Now, I know you said earlier you didn't really like that they were kind of doing this, the experiments with as soon as they 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 kill the person, they write on the forehead what time they would kill them, and then they're they're measuring how long it takes um, depending on the body type, the 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 the, the their race, ethnicity. The, yeah, you know, yeah. Um, I thought that was kind of cool, interesting. I thought the one scene yeah. though, when the kid was holding the eye, when he was looking at the eye of the guy, and you saw the eye change from a normal. 
a normal iris, a normal pupil to the, to the zombified Walker eye, I thought was a cool play and something that we really haven't seen. Um, so in that perspective, I can see um, some things being cool, some of the ideas that they're bringing to the show being interesting because we never really seen it uh, given to us that way from, from The Walking Dead. Um, but, uh, uh, you know... Uh, it, it's it was still hit or miss for me. The the bad definitely outweighed the good. Um, I didn't enjoy the, the, these characters. I felt it was unbelievable with the fact that the son of the um, the other brother yeah. of the kid that we first saw. Jake. Um, I thought he was so quick to just be like, "Oh, my brother's a dick. Um, just trust me," kind of a thing. Dude, there was you know, Mikey. It's tough. See, I'm so, trying to say the good things, and I know, and you it brought you back. Well, again. let me tell you my good things, and then we can trash again if you want. But yeah. so some of the good things were like I enjoyed the spoon to the eye. That was a cool gimmick. I like that. Mm -hmm. That was pretty cool. But then it quickly got shit. Like I said, because they're surrounded her, and mm -hmm. and they're all military or militia type people, and no one could shoot her in the back of the head. Come on. Um, yeah. So it kind of sat, you know, sweet, sweet and sour. No, bittersweet, yeah. sweet and sour. Wow. Um, one of the one of the the standout things, one of the only standout things was the father. I don't even remember his damn name, but the actor they got and the fact that yeah. that they made that character a down to earth, non militarized person. I when they said, "Oh, dad, this, dad, that, dad's creating this. This is dad's complex." But I was like, "Oh, he's gonna be a buzz cutted, fucking barrel chested piece of shit." Wearing yeah. medals on his fucking uniform that he's, he wears day in, day out. And it's not. And mm -hmm. I loved that. I think that was a great, great direction. Mm -hmm. um, I enjoyed his dialogue. I enjoyed very Herschel-like to me. To a, to a degree, okay? yes. But here's yeah. the thing. Is it enough to keep me watching? I don't know. And, and guys, that's the question. So, so yeah. I mean, look, there were, there were, there were a lot of things. Like, before... Okay. Well, Travis is dead. We didn't really. Travis is dead. Because <laughs> who cares? I yeah. hated Travis. Dude. I mean, I, I I wasn't a huge fan of his character. I thought, you know, for another little positive, I thought the scene where he was in the pit was was cool. Oh, that was the cool. Great... Okay, that was pretty cool. Yeah. I enjoyed the graphics that. were cool. The the throwing of the cinder blocks and crushing the skulls. You see, that's the what one... they need more of, though, Mikey. They need more of that. Oh, yeah. shit, this guy just killed all these. Like, that's what they need, that. That's Dude, what The Walking Dead has. The Walking Dead they, has these scenarios. You can't have two shows doing the same exact thing. But and that's why not? Exactly, they're doing it. But they're but they're doing they, it. That's already. why it's not gonna. That's it's not gonna last. I Mike, aren't you tired see. of them being in the fucking desert? How fucking tired of you seeing them I'm in this fucking desert, man? Listen, I mean, we have questions about The Walking Dead itself and where they're going with it. Now, I don't need another show. Um, that's just going to be the little step child exactly. of Walking Dude, Dead. How many, and it's like, you want to get specific again? How many times are we going to see the Nick character go, now don't get me wrong, Nick's one of my favorite characters, but how many times are we going to see him go tit for tat with fucking everyone? Yeah. Well, I'm going to put my gun to you and you're going to do this for me. He's done it like three fucking times. Oh my God, how stupid was that? Even when he, I'll do it. Like and the kid gave him the gun. Like uh, it's just what know? I'm saying. Like, what did you think? You know. And what I about know. what about I know. what about? I um, I said it before. I'll, I have to say it again. The 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 one horrible set thing that they did with the fucking who puts a fucking vent on sheetrock oh. in yeah. in this room that was like supposed mm -hmm. he was in the showers and it's sheetrock in the wall and it wasn't a vent. Why are you putting that was so poorly done? And then they and then to top it off. The, the way they killed him was kind of cool. They pulled him through the sheetrock and his head flipped. That's very, very um, um, 80s yeah, zombie. Yeah, can't be fucking, yeah, but through sheetrock, dude? Like, they well, were some... through the wall. Dude, and, they yeah, were some that's, fucking... That's, uh, you were, remember the gate? Of yeah, course you yeah, remember the course, gate. Yeah, of course, man. Remember the gate when the zombie came out of the wall and grabbed the kid exactly, and pulled him Exactly, yeah. But that's what you I'm know, saying. So, it was really campy was, and... yeah. I don't know, man. That just really turned me off. But that 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 actor's cool. That that's that's the guy that plays Mickey on Shameless, which is another amazing fucking show. Oh yeah. Um, but I mean, look, guys. The point is, 
I don't know. Mike and I are very disappointed. Um, mm-hmm. We actually don't know if we're going to continue doing the show. Obviously, we didn't do a live react and we didn't do a review for yeah. the show because it didn't warrant it. And yeah. maybe we'll give it one more week. I don't know. All right. I'm just yeah. I'm not I'm not I'm not happy. And I don't want to I don't want to talk about shows on third person that I'm not happy with. Just just for the sake of the fact that it's the name of a other show that we like. Yeah. This show sucks. Well, it was yeah. okay. It was okay. the second half of the season two think, was okay. I, I think we should maybe give it one more week. I'll give it. Um, listen, we'll give see. it one more week. I'm trying to get Mikey to get on board with Preacher because I kind of want to do Preacher. Game of Thrones is is in a month. Yeah. Well, you know, like I said earlier, let's wrap this up. But let us know what you guys think. Let us know your gripes. Let us know your mm-hmm. positives about the show. If, if you, you think we're it. completely wrong, let us know. Yes, okay. let us know. Give us, um, you know, give us your input. Let us know what you think um, we should do. Um, we definitely take what you guys say into consideration, big time. Leave your comments there on YouTube, of course. Third Person Pod. Um, don't forget to check us out on Snap. We're going to try to do more of more with the Snap. Snapchat. Do you guys want to um, see us do dumb snap? I snap with my daughter and my wife. Those are the only hey, two people I snap. With. You know what I mean? We it's not. It. Uh, that's like the the kid the kid app. I think you know. I don't really use it too much. But hey, let us know if you want to see us more on that. Yeah, of course, cool. check us out on Third Person Pod at Instagram and on Facebook. You can write, um, you know, your ideas you your there as well. And, stuff, yeah. and don't forget us on iTunes. Yeah, just just give us all what you want from us. Yeah. You know what I mean? Let us know if there are even some shows that we're not talking about or even possibly yeah, we're at a crossroads, about guys. Doing. We're at a crossroads here. So. That's right. So give us the input. Let us know what you what you want us to do. Let us know what you think. Uh, yeah. And don't forget, I'm going to pop these on right here. Uh, RetroSquat.com. It's another fun yes, podcast check it out. I do. Um, retro 80s type of stuff. You want to go check that out in ComicBlitz.com. Go get some free comics. Uh, use the code third person pod. You get yourself three months for only $3. That's a dollar a month for unlimited comics. So go do that yeah. guys. Thank you so much for watching. We really do appreciate it again. Let mm-hmm. us know what you think, because we're really leaning to one <laughs> side of the fence here, man. Um, I think <laughs> we'll give it one more week, Mikey. Off we'll, the ledge. Hey, if next week is really bad, dude, you, you're, you're just going to get a video from us. That's just, that's going to be like, Nope. Yeah, well, gonna, I think it's going to be a, a minute and a half video <laughs> that says, "Hey guys, welcome to Third Person: Fear the Walking Dead." Nope, is done. See yes. ya. Yeah, I think on this video too, we can't even label it a discussion. I think it's um, it's better to give the disclaimer as a, a rant. Yeah, you know. So I think we might put rant in the description. Yeah, you might be. Yeah, exactly. Good point. All right, guys, that's it. Thanks so much. We will see you on our next rant for Fear the Walking Dead. <laughs> Peace. Peace.